to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I told you guys I would be doing something different and colorful and smoky, and this is exactly what I was referring to. So I just want to say thank you so much to those of you who requested a blue smoky eye. It is because of you that I created this for you guys, and I just have to say big thank you because I absolutely love it, and I would have never have done this or thought of it if it wasn't for your request. So thank you so much for that. This look is structured. It is intense. It is dramatic. It is over the top. I absolutely love it. This look is for my queens. If you're more of like a day-to-day -day neutral girl, I got tons of other tutorials for that, and I'll be back with more neutral looks later. But today, we are feeling ourselves. Mm, that's better. Lost my snap there for a second. I was so scared. I know that blues can be intimidating, but just don't forget to blend and take your time, and all will work out, I promise. Practice makes perfect. And like my mom always said, Late at night before you wash your face, just pull out your makeup brushes, pull out your palette, and just do your makeup for five minutes. And if you're trying to learn a new technique, like this lower lash technique or a winged liner, just try for five minutes every night. It's just makeup, it wipes off. So you can just try it, wipe it off, try it, wipe it off. Wash your face, go to bed, sleep on it, try it the next night, you know what I'm saying? If you do that for a few nights in a row, I promise you, you can learn any technique that you want. Nothing is intimidating, nothing is too hard to achieve in makeup, you got this. And remember, it's just makeup, you know what I'm saying? wipes right off, and you can forget it ever happened. Enjoy the video, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon, bye. Hello my loves, my eyes are already primed and I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. I know I use this in the beginning of every single makeup look, but it's so similar to my skin tone. Going back and forth with this in my entire crease area just makes it so that no matter what colors I choose to go in with, it's going to blend easily. Now I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Unexpected. This is the perfect transition color if you're working with blues or purples because it's like a cool, cool tone grayish purple. It's just perfect and it's matte. So using that same Sigma E40, I'm going to dust that back and forth all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner in the upper crease area. Now I'm going to go in with the star of the show, and this is Anastasia Star Cobalt. This is a very intense metallic eyeshadow. So when I apply this, I pull my eyelid taut like you can see me pulling it there to really get all that pigment all over the entire lid, and it gives a very shimmery look. I'm going to make sure that I put this on the entire lower lid area, but I do not want to go any further than my crease. I want to keep this nice and low because the issue with colors like this is if you take it too high, all of a sudden that's when it becomes a mess. So keep it low, keep it on your lid and do not surpass your crease area. Now I'm going to go in with a Sigma E25 brush and a little bit more of that unexpected eyeshadow and we are just going to begin to blend, blend, blend back and forth and windshield wiper motions all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner until you see that that blue shade is no longer a harsh jagged line in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Blackberry Eyeshadow. This is just a few shades darker than Unexpected, which is why I'm going in with it. Because you want to start off with a lighter shade and then blend that and then go darker and then blend that. You never want to just go in with a dark shade and expect that to blend out beautifully. So you blend in between every single step and that is how you achieve a flawless, blended, smooth, smoky eye that does not have any harsh, jagged lines. So once we have moved on from that step, I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe and clean up the under eye. And then I will also use this to create kind of a cat eye with that shadow. It's a nice, easy trick to kind of get that shape that you want, that very sculpted eye look. And then I will go in with Maybelline gel liner in the shade Black is Black and then just create a typical black winged liner. The great thing about using that makeup wipe to remove the excess and creating that harsh line is you can then follow it with your eyeliner so it makes it simple to do a wing. Now I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Poolside Eyeshadow. Absolutely gorgeous. I should have done this before my eyeliner, but I didn't think about it. And once my eyeliner was done, I was looking at my eyes and I was like, we need something else. So taking the same brush, this is the MAC 242 that I used to apply the Star Cobalt. I'm going to just tap this on the center of the lid and then blend it out. And as you can see, it just gives the eye much more dimension and it just kind of brings that upper lid together. Then I'm just going to go over and fix my eyeliner and just kind of go over that and make it blacker because we completely messed it up because I should have done that step first. So if you are trying this yourself at home, do that part first then do your liner. <laughs> now I'm going to be applying lashes. I am using House of Lashes Iconic. These are my absolute favorite lashes at the moment. I can't get enough of them. I wear them every day. I wear them with no liner, liner, a smoky eye, a neutral eye. I swear they are just so gorgeous. I'm in love with them right now. I'm going to go in and prime my skin and I am using Makeup Forever Radiance Primer. Using clean hands, of course, we're just going to use this all over our entire face. And then I'm going to be using a newer foundation today. And this is by the brand LC Cosmetics. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. I talked about this on Snapchat because I'm just so in love with it right now. And I'm also going to be wetting my face with some MAC Fix Plus. The reason I'm doing this is because this Elsie foundation is definitely made for those of you who are more oily to normal, maybe combination skin. Since I am dry, I don't want it to be so matte. So I use a Radiance Primer and then I use a Dewy Skin Mist or a MAC Fix Plus just to give a little bit more of a glow to the skin because it will dry extremely matte on me. I am using the Morphe foundation brush. This is the M439, my favorite foundation brush right now. It just smooths everything out so beautifully. And because of the size and the density, it just makes it so that you don't have a buildup of foundation on the skin and you don't go overboard. Now I'm going to do the under eye concealer. Of course, I wanted a bright highlight today. So I'm going to start off with using the Urban Decay Weightless Naked Concealer. I think it's called something like that. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to use this in a triangle motion. I'm going to take it down the sides of my nose and then I'm going to drag it back towards the temple using a very damp beauty blender. I'm going to blend that outward. I'm bringing that down on the cheek area and then I'm going to take it all the way up to kind of emphasize the center of the cheeks and then up towards the temple to give that lift. I'm also going to even out that highlight by putting it on the chin, the upper lip, the nose, and the center of the forehead, and then again, go back with the Damp Beauty Blender and blend that out. Using a Damp Beauty Blender will make sure that you have tons of excess product. It'll pick it up, and you don't have cake face. That's why I love the Beauty Blender, because like right there, I put a little too much product on my upper lip, but that's okay when you're working with the Beauty Blender, because it'll pick up the excess, and you're not going to have cake frosting sitting on your upper lip, because that's not cute on anybody. I'm going to set my under eye concealer and I'm using MAC Emphasize, which is a pro product. And then I'm going to mix it with the Anastasia Banana Concealer. And I'm going to really highlight that under area again on the sides of the nose, the cheeks up towards the temple. And then I will also set it on the chin, the cupid's bow, the nose, and a little on the forehead as well, because we want to even out that highlight. If you're going to highlight, you got to highlight. Do it all, girl. Don't miss any spots. Now I'm going to go in and take care of them brows. I am using Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe, I believe. And then once I have filled in my brows, I as always use a little bit of concealer underneath that brow just to help carve it out and give it a little bit more dimension, especially on the arch of the brow. Now I'm going to go in with MAC Shroom Eyeshadow, and I'm going to use this to highlight the upper brow bone. I absolutely love highlighting the brow bone, especially when you're doing a smoky eye. It just gives that Glamazon, very bombshell look to the eyes, and I just think that it is beautiful. So I always make sure to highlight. Then I'm going to also highlight generously on the inner corner of the eye because the technique we're going to use on the bottom lash line is really going to pop with this highlight on the inner corner. So I'm packing on that highlight and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Cream Color in the shade Ice Blue. She came out with, I think, five or six of these cream colors and they are so pigmented. They are amazing. I was nervous that putting it on my waterline was going to irritate my eyes, but it didn't. It didn't burn. It didn't sting. It didn't irritate them, which is surprising because my eyes get so irritated so easily. And this color, like, can we talk about it? It is so beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with MAC Naval. This is a pro color, so you can get it on maccosmetics.com or at pro stores. It is a very dark navy blue kind of purple shade. It is more on the cool side, which is different for me, but that's why I chose it. It's gorgeous, and I love that it's a matte color. So I am just using an angled brush, as you can see. I believe this is actually an Anastasia brow brush technically, but whatever. Moving on. I'm going to line this very tightly on the lower lash line. And then once I get to that inner corner, as you can see, instead of sticking to my lash line, I'm just going to kind of go down and create almost the effect of a cat eye. I do have a tutorial going in depth on this a little bit more. I will link it down below. It was my trendy eye tutorial, I believe it's called. As you can see here, my right eye just was not as perfect as the left. So I went in with a little bit of concealer on a definer brush and I just kind of cleaned it up. We all make mistakes, but it's okay. It's just makeup. You can clean up your mistakes and move on. No one ever knows. I'm going to just blend out that lower lash line using any pencil brush. I don't really have any additional product on this. I just kind of went in and blended it out because I didn't want the bottom lash line to be too overly smoky. I wanted it to be nice and defined, but I didn't want it to be too intense, just like a jagged line. I never like jagged lines. Let's get real. I'm all about that blending life. I'm going to coat my lower lashes with mascara, and now I'm going to go in and contour. Today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Bronzer in number 30, and we are going to kick it old school, baby, with the NARS Eda brush. Oh, I forgot how much I miss this brush, you guys. I love it so much. If you want to structure contour, I still stand behind this brush. It is so amazing. As you can see right here, the proof is in the pudding. It's just so easy to contour with. It just makes such a beautiful line, but because the bristles are nice and kind of fluff out, it's not too intense and too harsh to the point that you're like, oh, dear God. It's just an amazing brush. I absolutely love it. 
Now I'm going to go in with blush, and I am using Becca Blush in the shade Sweet Pea. And I'm going to be using the Morphe E4 blush brush, which, by the way, this is the first blush brush ever that has made me turn my back on the MAC 129. It is amazing. I'll talk about it more in depth later, but I just absolutely love it. Now I'm going to carve out my contour. I'm using a Morphe 510 brush and any light powder that you have as long as it's matte will do for this. Put it right underneath that contour and then just wipe it away and that will help just kind of strengthen your contour and make it look more structured so that it's not messy. Then just taking a little bit of bronzer, I'm going to put that right underneath the lower lip and it'll help it look a little bit fuller and a little bit more pouty. Oh, all the tricks. I decided to go back in with a little bit of black eyeshadow because I just felt like that inner corner wasn't popping enough for me. So just taking a little bit of Makeup Geek Corrupt, I'm going to put that on that inner corner just for a little bit more of a pop. Then I'm going to highlight the cheeks and I'm going to be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. And I'm using the Morphe M501 brush for this. This is like my favorite highlighting brush of all time. And I'm going to place this all over the cheeks and the cheekbones for a little bit of a glow. Then I'm going to set my eyebrows with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which is the best brow gel in the entire world. I swear to God, it's super glue in a tube for your brows. Now I'm going to pair this look with a nude lip. I was going back and forth and I didn't want to do a pink or a peach because these eyes just make such a statement. So I decided to go with Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood, which was a beautiful nude. And what I love about it is it stays all day because it's a liquid lipstick and it doesn't require a lip liner. So last but not least, we are just going to now set our face. I'm using Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray just to lock all this in and we are done. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you have two hands and a blending brush, you can do anything. And that is my new quote in life. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.